Hello, we are Trisha Horst and Rick Weissman, co-founders of High Falls Hemp NY, and we're also husband and wife. We embarked on a mission to provide people and their pets with natural alternatives for their health and wellness. Started over three years ago with our CBD line of topicals and ingestibles. We believe that the most trustworthy, best products are simple, natural, and only incorporate essential beneficial ingredients. We've been fortunate to hear personal stories from our customers that were struggling with aches and discomfort with their bodies, pains, stress they could not manage, and sleepless nights. We built upon the success of our products and began exploring other cannabinoids in the hemp plant that may holistically help further support these issues. We began researching and developing new products to address the struggles that our customers were sharing with us. On this quest to create products with greater efficacy, cannabinoid science has advanced, which expands the universe of available cannabinoids. After a year of research and development, we are pleased to introduce our new line of issue solution products as an extension to our flagship product format, tinctures, complemented by additional cannabinoids and other natural ingredients. The first product in our new product series is our full spectrum CBD mobility tincture with CBG and Arnica, and a synergistic blend of terpenes for natural healing, for inflammation, discomfort, and nausea. The second product in our lineup is our full spectrum CBD calm tincture with lavender, other herbal ingredients and a blend of terpenes which promotes calm and natural relief from stress while helping improve focus. The third product in our new uh, releases is our full spectrum CBD sleep tincture with CBN and chamomile joined by terpenes for natural support of uninterrupted sleep and regulation of the immune system. We're proud to be recognized by Men's Health for best CBD lotion for 2021. All of our products are natural, plant-based, complemented by natural ingredients to help promote overall health and wellness. Also, without dependence on over-the-counter and prescription drugs and formulations. Products crafted with precision and passion using our premium grade CBD and hemp seed oil that's very refined, without an unpleasant hemp taste, without sacrificing the benefits and no artificial flavoring. We don't add artificial flavors. Pure, potent, perfection. True to our mission, every product with our name on it is proudly grown on our farm in High Falls, New York, or by our licensed partners in the USA carrying independent certifications of analysis, lab reports, and are all triple lab tested, carrying QR codes on every product for transparency for our customers to easily access the lab reports. Every ingredient in our products are on the label, and we never make any false promises. We're proud to be the original and trusted NYCBD, New York CBD. Our goal is to educate people about the benefits of CBD and provide guidance and support in selecting the right form of CBD and the suggested amount. On that journey, we provide a wealth of content to share with people and our retail partners to support their needs. We are just getting started, so be on the lookout for some of our other upcoming product launches that will further support wellness issues our customers and pet owners want. While our digital footprint affords us nationwide audience development, we are looking to expand our retail relationships beyond New York and the Northeast region, and being in control of our supply chain affords us the opportunity to meet that demand. We invite you to go with us on this journey, whether you are a retailer looking for products that differentiate you from the rest or wish to provide your customers with innovative, 
new products that support their health and wellness. Thank you for your interest in High Falls Hemp and Why, and we look forward to opportunities to collaborate. My name is Kim Welch, and I am co founder of Farm True. My name is Lynn Goodwin, and I am the co founder of Farm True. Lynn and I met studying Ayurveda, and when um, we were finished with our education, we just knew we had to bring this wisdom out to everyone. And we wanted our friends, and our family, and our community to understand um, how simple it could be to take care of yourself. We really believe that the vehicle to bring Ayurveda to everyone could be ghee, um, because ghee was the one thing that we were using religiously in our lives, and we were seeing an improvement in our health and our family's health. He actually originated in um, India in Ayurvedic medicine, and it's been used for thousands of years um, successfully to help nourish the body. The beauty of Ayurveda too, it is accessible to anyone, mm. and it's empowering, and it's not about doing something right or wrong. It's really, um, there's no judgment in it. It's just understanding what you can do to live your best life. Ghee is used as a healthy high heat cooking oil. At Farm True, we only use USDA certified organic butter that has been grass fed and certified humane from US dairy farmers. Ghee is delicious and nourishing and can be used in place of butter or olive oil when cooking, baking, in 2014, we began producing and selling our ghee in farmers markets across New England. This gave us the opportunity to meet the customer, educate them on the importance of healthy fats in the diet, and introduce them to the philosophy of Ayurveda. The response was incredible. Two years later, we were able to start building our own commercial kitchen, distribution, and retail facility in hopes to bringing the vision of Farm True becoming a complete Ayurvedic wellness lifestyle brand. Today, Farm True formulates, produces, and distributes over 40 different Ayurvedic wellness products. This includes a full line of facial care, seasonal body care products, and spiritual practice tools such as loose smudge and a meditation ghee candle. Farm True also has a complete line of digestive teas and spices, as well as traditional kitchery and a golden milk super fuel latte. Ghee is extremely nourishing to all the tissues of the body, both inside and out. It is considered a supreme carrier oil, taking the herbs that are infused into the ghee deeper into all the tissues of the body, making it more healing and more nourishing. Farm True infuses ghee into almost all of its skincare products because ghee is literally food for your skin. Hydrating deeply, but also feeding the complex microbiome that lives on your skin. This is the difference our customers not only see when using our products, but feel. One of our biggest customer favorites is the Farm True Nourish Stick. This all over balm is loaded with star studded ingredients, including ghee that has been infused with Ayurvedic herbs for extra healing power. It is used as a remedy for chapped lips, dry skin patches, sunburns, diaper rash, nursing mothers, stove burns, and much more. On top of building our own facility in North Stonington, Connecticut, one of Farm True's largest milestones has been starting to grow our own ingredients. By establishing our own farm, we've been able to stay true to part of our mission, which is to act and live with more care and stay connected to the land. Another important milestone for Farm True has been meaningful collaborations within the Ayurvedic community. One being Kripalu's Center for Yoga and Health. Kripalu is all about transforming of oneself and the world. For five decades, Kripalu has been a national leader in yoga and mindfulness-based education. Another significant milestone for Farm True has been the collaboration with Dr. John Duliard and Life Spa. Dr. Duliard is a globally recognized leader in the fields of natural health, Ayurveda, and sports medicine. He is the creator of LifeSpa.com, the leading Ayurvedic health and wellness resource on the web. And of course, a major milestone for Farm True would be obtaining regional distribution. This would be through Chex Finer Foods and Whole Foods through the New England region. Farm True is also getting recognition within the e-commerce space from retailers such as Milk Street, Crate Chef, Uncommon Goods, and more. The health and wellness industry is said to encompass all activities which promote physical and mental well-being. This industry 
is worth $4.2 trillion, with most of the industry spending coming from beauty and personal care products. A wellness mindset is starting to permeate the global consumer consciousness, affecting people's daily decision-making. In 2017, the global Ayurvedic market was valued at $4.5 billion and is expected to reach over $15 billion by 2026. We are so excited about the future happenings for Farm True. One of the first things you'll see in 2021 with Farm True is an expanded product line of herbal remedies. Another exciting happening for Farm True is the rebranding of their Nourish Stick to the new Fix Stick. And like so many of you, Farm True is really looking forward to being able to connect with our community again in person. By spring of 2021, we hope to complete our vision with the opening of Farm True Farm Store an Ayurvedic experience. This will be a place where our community can come together to purchase all of our Ayurvedic products, fresh grown produce from our farm, or to share an Ayurvedic meal. We are really looking forward to connecting with our community and sharing the wisdom of Ayurveda. To learn more about Farm True or Ayurveda, please visit farmtrue.com. Hello and welcome to Bosley MD. My name is Ian Murphy. I'm the president and co-founder of the brand. You know, many moons ago when I helped create this brand, I saw women and men struggle with their hair, with their scalp, and so I wanted to help create some solutions that would really help empower them, which is why our mission statement is actually to educate, inspire, and build confidence in women and men so they really can have that thicker, fuller hair that they dreamt of and they really desire. I don't know if you know this, but by the age of 40, 40% 40 of women will be dealing with hair loss and diffuse hair and density issues. Now this is obviously a big deal and men of course um, experience these type of issues perhaps earlier than women in many cases. So the question is, which brand to choose and what makes Bosley MD the superior choice and of course what makes us different? It really starts with this center of the onion doctor collaboration. Uh, Bosley MD of course uh, is, is built and collaborated with these doctors who have been having their hands in hair for years and years, in fact probably 45 to 50 years now that Bosley Medical has been in business. So no one knows hair and scalp better than Bosley. What also makes Bosley MD different is that we have a 360 degree approach to how we tackle hair loss and thinning hair. What does that mean? Well, it, it means kind of that there's no one product that's going to fix it, no silver bullet if you like. We like to approach it from different ways. Removing DHT from the hair that's been linked to premature hair loss or maybe it's taking a supplement and then augmenting that with daily hair care and styling products and of course the only major uh, source of true proven hair, hair growth and and hair loss remedies, and that is the FDA approved minoxidil hair regrowth treatment. So let's talk about products. My favorite is this one right here. It's the Bosley MD Scalp Scrub. Happens to be the product that you have there as a sample, and I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do. What does it do? Well, much like the name evokes, it's a scalp scrub. Now, when we think about scrubs, typically in the past, we think like harsh stuff like walnuts, shells, and so forth, but this is a magical product in many ways because it has inside of it, I mean, look at that earthy, earthy looking uh, charcoal uh, ingredient in there, it's what a sucker that does, but it, it has these, these I don't know if you can see it in the light, these sugar crystals in there that uh, uh, help, yes, get rid of the, the, the junk off of our scalp, but don't cause the same kind of abrasive nature as we've heard and seen and experienced from other scrubs out there. These just kind of dissolve away. Also within scalp scrub, of course, are uh, other key botanicals and minerals that uh, consumers search for today when they're looking for their products, such as caffeine as well. So let's talk about these starter kits, which is often the first point of entry into our regimen. Really, consumers are looking for a way in their daily hair care regimen they can slow down hair falling out and, uh, and stop the shedding. Um, 
That often happens again because of this, this ingredient called DHT that lives on the scalp. And so what's great about these three products is they have been clinically tested by a third party lab to remove DHT. What have you got inside the box? Well, there's a shampoo, again, helps to clarify and clean the scalp. Uh, secondly, of course, is the conditioner, which helps moisturize and strengthen the scalp and the hair. And finally, the treatment, which is an awesome product I use after getting out the shower, which is a, a leave-in foam treatment, which has great ingredients like apple stem cells. The third part I want to share with you is really where the magic starts. If you're looking for results, proven results, there is only one uh, product out there that really delivers that, and that is this <clears throat> minoxidil foam regrowth treatment, clinically proven to regrow hair and to get new hair grow uh, coming back as well. It's also great for women to help slow down the shedding. We've gone through this whole last year of this, this pandemic where a lot of consumers have been suffering from a phenomenon called telogen effluvium, which is stress-related hair loss. This is a product to get that hair back. In a 5% binoxidil hair regrowth uh, concentration, it really does help promote hair growth and reduce hair shedding. That's the minoxidil regrowth treatment. Finally, in closing, I just wanted to say thank you for joining us here uh, and Team Bosley MD uh, from Studio 1A. We hope that uh, this was informative and helpful for you. Uh, I'm sure you're looking forward to meeting my colleague, Janice Lee, who's the CMO of Bosley MD, who's gonna have lots of great information to share. And we open, of course, to your Q&A. So again, um, good luck with your hair journey. And if you need a solution for thinning hair or just to get thicker, fuller hair, get over this uh, pandemic, please give us a call. I'm Candace Crane, and I'm the visionary, the founder, and the CEO of Petal Sparkling Botanicals. I'm also just about to have a baby, so I'm, if I'm not personally at the Founder Made Conference, Steve Farrell, our National Director of Sales, will be there in my place. Petal is the world's first organic sparkling beverage dedicated to the botanicals and fruits and herbs. My vision was to revive ancient elixirs and ingredients that are globally known around the world to deliver an organic, low sugar, 10 to 15 calories, caffeine free beverage that sparkles with botanical ingredients. Our top three SKUs are elderberry, white tea flower, peach, marigold, basil, and lychee rose. They are now all available in these four packs for a suggested retail price at $5.99 and then the individual cans are SR, the SRP for the individual cans are $1.99. Petal is available in all Kehi and UNFI VCs and um, we're in about 2,000 stores nationwide and sold on Amazon and on our own e-commerce at drinkpetal.com. Petal is made for the conscious consumer looking to live better. It's very versatile as you can enjoy any time of day as it's caffeine free. It also makes the perfect sober alternative to the spiked seltzer craze and it makes a mindful mixer if you're looking to make and experience your own cocktails. From the beautiful disruptive packages to the smell of the aromas to the wonderful refreshment, Petal is just delightful. So please check out this video that we created that captures the vibe of Petal. And we're so honored to be here. Thank you. And please reach out if you'd like to discuss the Petal opportunity. Stay well and raise your vibe.
Sonny Johnson, founder of Creo Skincare. Our mission is to guide you into Sierra Leone through our products by leading you on a journey between self-care and self-discovery. We've developed simple, gender-neutral, plant-based skincare solutions for people of color, but not exclusionary. We want those who experience our products to feel confident, inspired, and educated throughout their entire skincare journey. Our best sellers are Mini anti ashy Kit, providing with whole body skincare and a powerful Travis Size Kit. River number two hydrates your face with marula and Kalahari melon oil. Takugama body oil softens your skin with sea buckthorn oil and baobab oil. Bentumani hair oil nourishes your hair and your scalp, your beard if you have one. And that uh, those key ingredients are uh, argan oil and castor oil. And our Kono body butter is our crown jewel. Uh, infused with uh, coffee beans from Sierra Leone, uh, shea butter, broccoli seed oil, is that added moisturizing cherry on top. So even though we launched in June 2020, we had some really key wins that we were proud of. Uh, during the holiday season, we partnered up with Hornitos Tequila and Bespoke Post to launch a shot takers box. Korea was one of the five hand-selected brands chosen by Bespoke Post's um, small business initiative team. And the limited edition box was sold on their website, uh, and it was sent to various content creators and influencers. Uh, the brand write-up and the strategist has opened up a lot of opportunities for us. Um, you know, it proved that we were navigating the space well. People were enjoying our products, um, the education, and the overall experience that Creo has to offer. You know, lastly, we launched in uh, Vera Shop uh, in May which is really, really exciting for us. And Veroshop is a new e-commerce platform that effectively allows brands to tell their story, sell it, and communicate with consumers. Uh, we're really excited about Veroshop because it's our first e-commerce retailer that's going to house all of our products. Um, and their platform offers an expansion of the uh, Creo experience uh, that the uh, consumers have on our website. So what's the driving factor at Creo? Uh, you know, our purpose is to inspire self-care, social impact, and build awareness of Sierra Leone through our wellness experience. Our goal is to source at least one ingredient per product from Sierra Leone. And currently, our Kono Body Butter contains Sierra Leone sourced coffee beans infused in shea butter. We're establishing relationships with farmers and suppliers to source the shea butter and other natural ingredients. Uh, we're committed to our community empowerment mission, creating jobs, building ethical, sustainable sourcing practices, and educating to help local communities reach economic and environmental justice. What's up the Creo team? Well, that's me. I'm Tony. Uh, and I'm not somebody who has had a long history in the beauty industry, but I'm a black entrepreneur who has a story to tell about my self-discovery uh, to overcome confidence and self-esteem issues because of my dry skin. Uh, you know, these experiences led me to launch Creo in June 2020. This experience led me back to my roots in Sierra Leone, and I really wanted to understand how they washed, moisturized, protected, and maintained their beautiful glow and skin. Greg Bailey is our strategic director who has MBA background and is passionate about traveling. His parents immigrated from Liberia over 30 years ago, and he ran track and field at Methodist University, becoming a four-time All-America in the 200 and a 4x100. He's results driven and that pushes us uh, to perform at a high level. And we have Sasha who is our marketing intern. She was born in Moscow, Russia, moved to Illinois at the age of 12 with her family. After high school, she moved to New York City by herself and she's a recent graduate from the Fashion Institute of Technology with a degree in advertising and marketing. But What's really great about Sasha is that her love for beauty and wellness was found throughout this process. And she's purposeful in her work and she takes calculated risks that bolsters her creativity. Uh, we're currently in the final stages of onboarding a CMO and we're really excited about that. What's the Creo team going to be up to for the rest of the year and uh, the near future? We're going to be launching our Mambo Lip Balm in early June. Uh, we are currently in R&D with our face cleanser, masks, and toner. Uh, we plan to bring those to market by Q4. Uh, we have some brick and mortar opportunities that uh, we're really excited about in Boston, New York, 
uh, Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, Columbus, Ohio. And in July, we're going to be attending the Liberty Fairs trade show in Miami. Uh, lastly, uh, we are in the initial stages with Van Gogh to create a custom compact interactive vending machine um, that dispenses Creole samples such as our River Number no. 2 face oil and Takagama body oil. Uh, we find this to be a really uh, cool uh, lead gen opportunity for us uh, because it's a, it's a new and interactive tool that allows us to meet our customers where they are and understand their needs. Um, and of course, you know, there are a couple of other opportunities that we have up our sleeves that we're really excited to show and share in the near future. Uh, but until then, uh, stay tuned, um, stay safe, and uh, being ashy is never cool. Thanks. Hi, everyone. I'm Lisa from L8. I am the CEO and co-founder of the brand. Um, we are a hemp-infused beverage company that has four different product offerings currently. Um, we have pretty robust innovation strategy, which we'll get into at a later date, but I wanted to introduce you to our four different flavors. Um, the first being ginger peach. This is our number one selling flavor. Um, it has 20 milligrams of hemp extract. All of our beverages actually have 20 milligrams of hemp extract. Um, they are all less than 20 calories per serving and less than two grams of sugar. So again, this being our number one selling flavor, um, you can really sense the zestiness of the ginger, um, but it's a really nice balanced flavor as well. The second being blueberry mint, uh, another really popular flavor. I've seen people online really mix this with mottled blueberries, mottled mint. It's a really refreshing flavor, especially for these summer months coming up. This is our second product offering. The third being strawberry lemonade. Um, you know, you see this flavor through and through within the market, but I think that our strawberry lemonade flavor is very, very strong. Um, and it does, again, just have that kind of zestiness on the back end with the lemon, but really has that cooling effect with the strawberry. Last but not least is our coconut vanilla flavor. This is actually my favorite flavor, and this is becoming a very fast fan favorite. Um, I've seen this online again, just mixed with shredded um, bits of coconut. It's really, really a nice sort of pina colada taste and you don't see a lot of this kind of flavor in the market currently. So this is actually my favorite and I would highly suggest trying it. Um, so being that we are a newer CBD company, um, like I said, our, our background is we had a previous brand, it was called G and Juice. We launched that actually in April, 2020. Um, with the same formulations, we changed just a couple little tweaks in the formulation, but overall, same formulations. Um, we then, you know, being that it was COVID, really was trying to break into the market and had innovation lined up, but we quickly realized that the word juice was really hard to work with. And our innovation was really robust in the sense that we wanted to innovate with sparkling waters and a whole bunch of other products. But to use juice didn't really make a lot of sense. And as we thought about it more and more and more, we thought, well, you know what, we're new enough. Let's just make, let's just do this a total rebrand and uh, innovate into a different direction. Um, this brand, L8, is really more authentic to who we are as a company, who the founders are. I have two different partners, uh, Janina, who is our COO, and Jade, who, who is our CMO, who runs all of our social and everything. Um, and this is really, the eight different L words were founded on many brainstorming sessions within us three. Um, so the eight different L words is, are kind of words to live by, if you will. Um, and we really lean into that within our whole brand and marketing strategy. So life, luxury, leisure, love, laughter, limitless, longevity, and then light. Um, I think that they really do a good job of representing who we are as founders. We are really about that work hard, play hard mentality. Um, and it speaks to that through our social media and through our website and, and all of our marketing campaigns that we do. Um, so it's, it's a little bit of a 
different twist than what you're going to traditionally see in the hemp market space. Um, and it's, it's really, really leaning into that luxury leisure, um, focus within our brand. And we are a lifestyle brand. We'll lead with that first always. Um, we really are, are, are leaning into also, um, you know, balanced lifestyle. So you can work hard and be a mom or a momager, if you will. And this is going to help with like that whole de-stressing process. Um, that traditionally people would reach for a glass of wine or a vodka martini or something l along those lines. This is going to be maybe what you choose to drink instead. Um, and our formulations are, are very strong. Our co-packing and manufacturing is very strong. Um, so I really encourage all of you to try it. Um, I'm here for any questions. Please check us out on social media at L8 Life and then online at l8life.com. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Well, I am so welcome, guys, to uh, Founder Maid's Roundtable. Um, if everyone will just put on their video, um, Rick, Steve, um, great, great, great. So wonderful. Thank you all for joining. Um, and so, I mean, I, I think I'd love to just start, and again, just as intro, I'm Megan Asha, I'm the CEO and, um, and founder of FounderMaid, and our whole goal is to work with innovative products like yours and bring them to market and, and showcase the stories behind it. And so, you know, what I'd love to just kind of go around as we're doing all the intros, just talk about your mission behind the brand. Um, so if we want to start, let's start with um, high, fall, high, haul, I mean, high Fall Hemp. Uh, which is, I, I, I have the wonderful products right in front of me, um, but I'd love to just hear the whole mission behind behind your brand first. Hi, uh, thank you, Michelle, on behalf of myself and Tricia. Uh, we are, um, our mission is basically to deliver plant-based wellness in a natural format using natural ingredients that improve people's health and wellness, relying on the hemp plant, the CBD included in it, as well as other natural, uh, de naturally derived ingredients, uh, such as uh, terpenes, um, essential oils, and other cannabinoids, uh, but, not, uh, but not so much the THC. Just, we also love to use full spectrum CBD because it does include the other minor cannabinoids um, and it helps improve the wellness outcome uh, of our products. So we're and we also do soil seed to sale and our seeds come legitimately from the US. They are guaranteed US, not China. And we grow them. We're planting right now on our farm and we do CBD, CBG, CBN. And we're also extracting our products as well with a partner that's upstate New York and we produce our products. And we do a lot of research, a lot of testing. We spend a lot of money on testing. Awesome. Um, I will, I, I, can't, I, wait, I can't wait to go into that in more detail and just understand the differentiators. Um, Lynn, Kim, I would love to just hear a little bit more about Farm True. I'm obsessed with this, I, so thank you. This is really quite the product. Um, but I just would love to hear, you know, how you're, how you're thinking about the brand and, and your mission behind it. Yeah. So, so yeah, we, Kim and I started our company about eight years ago and from day one with, um, our Ayurvedic education, our mission has just been to, um, create Ayurvedic products that support self-care routines that Ayurveda, um, offers us and just to be really, uh, mindful of the way we, we utilize ghee in all of our products um, and optimizing self-care and making it really accessible and easily usable. Um, so it's kind of like a modern approach and um, we utilize the three pillars in Ayurveda, which is sleep, digestion, and energy. Um, so everything is with our Ayurvedic education in mind and it inspires us to show our customers how to eat, live, and act with more care. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Janice, um, I know that you weren't on the video, uh, but but he did mention. I, I love that you you are a part of you know Bosley, and I would I'd love to just understand. I mean, this mission is so big, 
you're touching so many different demographics. Um, but just tell us like really, you know, distill what, what it is that you guys are really trying to build with Bosley MD. Yep, absolutely. Thanks. Um, yes, our mission, sorry. Um, so I'm Janice Lee, the chief uh, marketing officer for Bosley MD and our mission is to really inspire, educate, and help consumers um, with their thinning hair loss journey. Because I don't know about you, but I definitely experienced it last year with pandemic. And I think there's a lot of education that needs to go, that um, needs to happen with hair growth and hair regrowth and what that really means, the causes um, and the solutions for that. Um, but what I love is really to be able to, um, you know, work with consumers to really like touch their lives because ultimately, um, you know, we've heard it time and time again that, you know, thinning hair um, is really linked to a person's self-esteem and, you know, and then has like a bigger repercussions just, you know, beyond vanity. And so we want to provide the products, the in, you know, ingredients. We have things like, you know, most of our products are actually botanical based, have sal palmetto, which is um, an ingredient that helps to block DHT, which is a hormone that's linked to hair loss. Um, we also have ones that are much, uh, more, you know, like FDA drugs like minoxidil. So we have the whole gamut of different products to really help the consumer with whatever their needs uh, would be. That's awesome. Uh, Steve uh, from Petal, I've been drinking the Petal all day. So I, I really Perfect. can't Perfect. wait to hear more about your distribution, but uh, just a, a little bit of, of the mission. And I know that um, your founder is, is uh, probably in, in the midst of labor, right? <laughs> yeah, so. so first off, let me just apologize. I've got a Chromebook and I cannot figure out how to get that downloaded. So it's downloaded, but it's, you know, so just had to put that out there. Um, but yeah, so our um, founder, Candace Crane, who was in the video, who is just a beautiful human being in so many ways and um, she, you know, she found it, as she said, you know, pedal, it was really going back. She was about four years ago, three and a half, four years ago, she was seeing all the different sodas and things that are out there, like with some cool ingredients and, and, you know, uh, unique ingredients, but yet, you know, too high in sugar or, you know, high fructose corn syrup, whatever. And she thought, you know, I really could definitely see putting something together. She grew up in South Africa until she was about six years old and she used to love sitting with her grandmother and use all these ancient elixirs, um, especially rose water and rose tea. So she really went back to those days and thought about how, how much she loved that. And then she continued after they moved to Chicago, she continued to come back or go back to South Africa. And she'd always love the different things that her grandmother were putting together for her to enjoy. So she loved the stories of Cleopatra and how she bathed in rose water and, and how she drank rose tea and, and all those kind of things. So putting all that together, she really felt like the world was ready for something that was going to be really clean, but yet bring some really unique botanical ingredients. Um, you know, keeping that sugar down, you know, using organic agave instead of um, whether it be artificial sweeteners or what have you. And once she, she started to create her own here in Chicago or in Chicago, she really felt like she was, she was onto something and she just, it's our biggest tagline is raise your vibe, right? So, you know, if ever our world needs to raise its vibration, it's now. And we believe that we are behind a new category when it comes to beverage, right? So we are believing that there's an organic sparkling botanical category that we want to lead. And um, it's a very versatile product, but when, when I look at the heart of Candace, her husband, her father, it's really a family affair. And what they're really trying to bring again is not just a clean, organic, great tasting sparkling beverage that's very versatile, whether it be for the mindful mixer or for the sober community, sober cu curious community, um, instead of the, you know, the, the seltzers and things, the hard seltzers that are out there. Um, they really wanted to bring a, a new attitude within intentional drinking um, and uh, being that it's caffeine free as well you know, just understanding that rose water has the highest vibration. And when you drink it, you want to believe that you're, you're, you're raising that vibration. And again, as we all know, coming out of COVID, it was some, it's been a tough year, but um, we really see, 
you know, things really changing quickly and we want to be a part of it. And, and the packaging's beautiful. They did an incredible job on all of it. We got six flavors, but um, so yeah, we, you know, that that's our goal and our mission is to change the beverage industry and to create a whole new um, uh, category. Thanks so much, Steve. That's, that's, I mean, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, and Tony and Greg, so I've been using your products and I keep thinking about the big mission that you guys have. So I would love to just also just go into that um, because it really, really strong, strong on, um, we tried, you know, tons and tons of brands and really, really awesome what you've created and, and for your first launch. Thank you, uh, much appreciated. Uh, yeah, so Creo really started when, uh, when I was a kid, I struggled with confidence um, and self-esteem issues because I had dry skin. And then we fast forward up to uh, 2019 and I was using my wife's skincare products, uh, which worked well, but then the curiosity in me, you know, wanted to start experimenting and formulating, um, you know, just out of, just out of my curiosity. So, um, so I thought about my trip to Sierra Leone um, in, in 2013 and I was observing how like their flawless skin um, and they were using uh, natural um, and, and simple ingredients. So very similar to what uh, Steve was talking about <laughs> with, uh, um, you know, going back to, to South Africa, the Rosewater Natural Botanicals. So, um, you know, that journey took me back to my roots in Sierra Leone. So I really wanted to understand how they, they wash, they moisturize, they protected, they maintained their, you know, beautiful glowing skin. So, you know, that led me to, um, to launch Creo in, in June, uh, 2020. And you know our mission is to to lead you on that um, that journey between self care and self discovery. And we want to highlight the efficacy of the ingredients sourced from Africa. You know, so we've developed um, simple, uh, gender neutral, plant based skincare solutions uh, for people of color, but we're not exclusionary. Uh, you know, we we really want to um, you know have people experience our products, feel confident, feel inspired, educated. Uh, all throughout their in, uh, entire skincare journey. So, you know, our goal is to become a leading brand in African, Africa beauty, uh, or also known as a beauty, which is starting to, to ramp up. And, you know, our, our really want to focus in on, you know, embedding ourselves in the community uh, within the country. So, um, you know, our, our community empowerment mission is to, to create jobs, uh, build ethical and sustainable practices to help the local communities um, you know, reach uh, economic and, and uh, environmental justice. So, you know, we've, we've been working quite hard to, to meet, these, uh, meet these goals, but we're only coming up to a year. Next, actually, next week is our, um, is our birthday. So um, we have some high, high um, aspirations, but we're really, really excited to, um, you know, to meet the challenge. A fantastic story. And Lisa um, from L8, I, I know that you had a, a brand, I, I have your beverage as well, because you can't mm -hmm. see very much in Zoom. But I mean, talk about the rebrand and, and also just talk about the mission now with a rebrand, because I'm sure mm -hmm. people it's different and now it's a little bit. Absolutely, yeah. So we, um, our current brand is called L8. Um, we actually started formulations in 2018. Um, when the hemp industry was just kind of coming into the hot trend that it is today. Um, so in 2018, we started this formulation and I have two different business partners as well, Janina and Jade. And G and Juice really was inspired by Janina. Um, she used to make these freshly pressed juices at home. They were delicious and they were kind of these hangover cures, if you will. And we kind of marketed them like a hangover elixir. Um, but then we kind of thought chatting amongst the three of us and thought, well, what else can we incorporate within our brand that makes sense that um, it's a trending ingredient also, but we use, we actually use the ingredient. So we kind of played around with CBD and we started because um, I had an old soccer injury. I had sciatica. I lost the feeling in my left leg for three months. Um, so that was a really hard and challenging time for me. CBD helped with my nerve endings a little bit. And I'll just speak from our experience. I'm not saying that that will be the same experience for everybody else. Um, you know, Janina suffers from insomnia, so she couldn't sleep well at night. Um, she really found that CBD helped her in relaxing her mind and her nervous system. And then my other business partner, Jade, um, she has anxiety problems. So she was really highly anxious, you know, trying to figure out something that would really help her through the day. 
Um, so then fast forward, we formulated to G and juice and it was really Janina and juice. So that's where the G and juice came from. And they are, we, our collection of beverages is sparkling juice beverages. We do use real juice concentrates within all of our beverages as well. Um, so that kind of was G and juice. That was our brand. Well, in April, 2020, when we launched the brand and, and we thought about innovation, we thought about all of the different pipelines we could do with sparkling waters and teas and everything that's really hot um, that we enjoy consuming. We thought, well, juice is really not the ideal word if we're trying to do, let's say, loose leaf teas or if we're trying to do sparkling waters. Juice doesn't really speak to us anymore. So we completely were like, we're, we're new enough. Let's switch gears here and let's think about things that really mean a lot to us. And we came up with these eight different L words that I described in the video, um, but I'm happy to go through it's longevity, limitless, love, luxury, light, laughter, all these different L words really encompass our brand as women founders. Um, and so L8 was born and all of our, our beverages have less than 20 calories per serving, less than two grams of sugar and uh, 20 milligrams of hemp extract. I love that every beverage has a mantra name with it. I think that that's such a creative way to, to, to brand a product. So super, super interesting. Um, and so I'd love to just go back to Rick from High Falls Hemp. Their state-to-state -state gui guidelines, we've seen a lot of big changes, New York. You know, how, how has that affected your business? So we're, um, it actually hasn't affected our business so much because uh, going back pretty much to our inception, we were very heavily focused on compliance as well as uh, presenting products that, you know, we wanted to take for ourselves, for our friends, our family, and anyone who was part of the mission to change the world with our CB, with CBD. Um, the New York State, um, going back about a year and a half ago, passed legislation that made New York State probably the strongest uh, state with the consumer protection laws as it relates to CBD. And probably, I'm not sure how much of the universe knows about this, but I can tell by what's on the shelves in many stores that they don't have a lab test uh, linked by a QR code, something we've been doing on our own two years ago, uh, well before New York State came out with these, with these proposed rules. Um, it's taken them a year and a half to implement them, but they effectively have, the final rule came out in, in mid-May and it becomes effective around July 1st. Um, how has it helped our business? Well, I think in general, customers or cons our consumers and followers love the fact that we are very transparent about what we put in our products. We uh, do full panel testing to make sure that the potency of the, the amount of CBD and the brand in the, in the item is what it is, as well as uh, testing for safety. So there's no biologic contaminants, heavy metals, pesticides or residual solvents. And so, I mean, it's, I mean, I expect that, you know, this will help us further as these rule, these laws become effective uh, within a few weeks. Uh, but on average, I believe part of the staying power we've had as a brand and the fact that we were able to triple our online audience during the pandemic was due to the fact that we, the, uh, the high level of transparency, which we, um, which we hold as a mantra to our resistance. So we started in 2018. We were one of the first to get a license in New York State and to grow. So we grew our own product. We still grow our product. We're planting as of today, which is why I'm just a little crazy right now because our farmers are out there and we are here. And it's been a really great road. New York State was with us from the very beginning. And I've spoken at a lot of different events in our area. We were also the first ones to grow in Ulster County, which is Hudson Valley. We are High Falls, which is the name of our town. I've owned this property since 1980. And it's grown, extracted, produced product, and New York proud. Fascinating. I love a verticalized biz business like the, you know, it's and homegrown. I love that you are, you're, you're doing, doing it even today, you know, 
Um, I, I a love woman, I've been a far, I grew up on two big farms in Ohio and I grew up farming. I've lived all over the world doing other TV film and things, but it's now really come back to a circle, which is really, really happy for me. And my husband is involved with it very strongly and it's incredible. It's a good feeling. Isn't it interesting as entrepreneurs, how you connect the dots and, you know, you don't know, I'll, I'll just give you an example. When I started 2007, I went to consumer electronics show. I had no idea. I have a picture of me going to consumer electronics show. I never knew that my whole dream was going to be to, to build, you know, the consumer electronics show of products and innovation. So I think you really do connect the dots. Um, but you never really know where it's going. So um, when with that, you know, Lynn and, Lynn and Kim, I would love to understand, I mean, you guys, I know Ar Ayurvedic because I'm half Indian. How did you guys get involved in that? And then I also want to understand, you know, I'm all about routine and habit. And what are those Ayurvedic rituals that you can do? And especially with your products that you're finding customers are really loving. Yeah, so I'm Kim. And Lynn and I actually met studying Ayurveda. Um, so we didn't have a long history. We just met one time in a workshop. I was actually brought to Ayurveda through Ghee. Um, I had a six-year-old who was very, very ill, a very serious illness. And she had some things going on from that illness. And we were having to travel to Yale a couple of times a week. And I was watching um, Oprah and Dr. Oz was talking to her about Ghee and the healing powers and like, how incredible it was for anxiety in the mind. And I'm sitting in this waiting room thinking, I've got to try this. And I'd never heard of it before. And, you know, it just, it culminated from there going from, you know, making ghee and to learning a little bit about Ayurveda and then going to this workshop and Lynn and I met. It was really profound. And then we decided to go back to school and study it together, just as a journey together. And we had no intention of starting a business together, but um, after, um, we graduated, we'd said, we have to bring this to people. We have to share this with people because it's, it's so simple, but can be so overwhelming. And so we said, how can we do this? How can we make it easier for people to understand how um, these tools can help you live a better life? And we decided to start with ghee because it was just really easy to explain the, the qualities of it. Um, and we started to infuse ghee into all of our body care because of all the healing properties of it. So um, ghee is considered a superfood and um, for inside and outside the body. And so we started to um, really just play around with that and um, bring it to almost, you know, everywhere we could, whether it's farmers markets or stores or, you know, trade shows. And people loved the, the concept of feeding their skin, feeding their guts. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry. I think I got a little lost today. Hopefully I answered your question about how we started with Ayurveda and um, how we brought it into our products. And our products are Ayurvedic, just like everything Kim said, that is our background in our education. And all the recipes from the food, from the spice blends, from the kitchery packets to the skincare, the body mm -hmm. care, the, the nourish stick and the body oil, the pulling oil, um, everything is really mindfully made with Ayurvedic principles. So um, the all the products are alignment with the doshas or your constitution or with the seasons. Um, so we've simplified it in that way. The type of oils we use, the type of essential oils are associated with the doshas or the seasons. Um, we utilize Ayurvedic herbs in, to infuse into our ghee and other oils. So ashwagandha, shatavari, brahmi, everything that is just very nourishing and hydrating for the body. Um, and ghee, obviously, as Kim said, is optimal nourishment for body and mind. So um, everything from nourishing the gut to calming anxiety, um, ghee is good for that. And, um, you know, we utilize traditional, all of the products support traditional Ayurvedic routines. Mm -hmm. So the, from getting up in the morning to using pulling oil, um, nausea oil, um, all the products were created in Ayurveda in that way. And they support the health of body, mind, and spirit. So our meditation candle supports everything. So we cover all the bases is there for yeah. um, complete system of healing. I think the best brands educate, there, there's an education aspect 
and a ritual aspect a, a, along with that. And I, I think that that's part of the, you know, some of the best brands really like they, they know how to market it and they, but they really are marketing from an education standpoint. Um, and, you know, Janice, I would love to understand how you guys are educating your, you know, your clients. I know you also, the marketing initiatives like on TikTok, just talk about, you know, what you're seeing, because I know that you're, you're trying a ton of different, you know, to different ways to market. Um, and, and you're also hitting a ton of different needs, right? Postpartum right. hair loss. I mean, what other type of hair loss and what, 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 what type of demographics are you hitting? Yep, absolutely. You know, the amazing thing with social media, especially now, um, and especially after pandemic is that people are just so open to so many different things. So it used to be that no one was talking about hair loss, especially for women. Um, not really, it's kind of a taboo pro, uh, subject and now everyone is talking about it. So when you look at like the number of views, let's say on TikTok of like 12 million views on postpartum hair loss, 10 million views on PCOS hair loss, it's really amazing. And so, you know, my um, goal is to really educate in a very personal way um, and a very specific that, um, you know, people understand how it um, impacts them because you know, from a scientific standpoint, you know, um, Ian in the video was talking about telogen effluvium, which is like stress related hair loss, but there's so many different causes of stress. So I was like last year, my hair was falling out because I was stressed over pandemic and, you know, stressed over like worrying about my parents, but then, you know, there's someone, yeah, someone else will have a different type of, of hair loss. So it's being able to almost use those hashtags to understand, okay, so this person is dealing with you know, uh, post power hair loss. How do I communicate her in a very direct way? Um, you know, by DMing her and, and sending her product to say, hey, this is what you can do. You're not in it alone. Because clearly, you know, the people are like very, very engaged and have these all these different conversations. But we want to be part of that conversation in an, you know, an authoritative because we are the thinning hair authority um, in that kind of way. And so, you know, we've noticed that as specific as we can get for the different demographics that we have, because everyone is gonna go through, you know, thinning hair at some point because hair density for a woman will um, will decline at age 35 and for a man it's age 25. So there are many different ways that we can talk about either prevention or almost like a, you know, an improvement in, in hair loss. It's awesome. I know I have to say this has been really, really great to try. So any, anyone who has the discovery box, definitely you'll have to, you'll have to try the scalp scrub. It's pretty awesome. Um, and, and Steve, you know, I have been drinking this all day. I mean, I, I have a bunch of them and I'm like, really, I keep, I keep wondering, I'm like the flavor profile, because there's so many different kinds of flavors, but something I would never think of, like this is peach marigold basil. You know, I, I just I'm I want, would love to understand you know how you know the founder came up with the flavor profile. You know what was the, with the testing when you're starting a product company, it's you know it, you, you could have a ton of different batches. You know how do you really decide after a while? They probably all start tasting the same. You know how did how did how did you guys pick pick out these really interesting flavor profiles? Yeah, so um, a little bit of a backstory. Uh, we actually launched um, back Memorial Day of 2018. And we launched with just our rose water flavors, right? So again, our, our original rose was our very, very first flavor. Um, and what I love about it too is, is, I don't know if I showed you, but the color, it's just got a beautiful, all the rose water flavors have, have that, that beautiful hue. So, um, and then the lychee rose uh, was right there with it. And then the mint rose. So we launched with, with a pretty simple rose water and fruit combination or herb in the sense of the mint. And within about six months to a year, we were doing, doing well with it. But what we realized was that floral forward wasn't going to be for everyone. And that we wanted to make sure that we, we hit more, um, more consumers. So we kind of went, Candace went backwards in meeting up with, you know, with her grandmother and some of her family members from South Africa and Kind of discuss a little bit of what was going on in her mind was how can I now stay with the floral the petal theme right but maybe a little more fruit forward and they kind of started to play around with the idea of a fruit that would then combo nicely with a certain florals and then of course adding in an herb right so um, it's funny you bring up the peach marigold basil because that's my personal favorite and um, it's our number two 
seller. Our number one is the elderberry, um, the elderberry uh, white tea flower, which is, uh, it's been really big. I, I'll tell you that I think it would be number one anyway, but with, with COVID and elderberry and the way that it boosts the immune system, we definitely, um, we've seen an, an increase there. But what we realized was there was definitely a market for the rose water based uh, beverages, but then we needed to innovate and get to more of the mass market that maybe when they do try floral, their palate, the, the rose water, the palate just doesn't, it's not for them. But when you can take a peach and a marigold and the basil and make all three sort of react together. Um, the other one that we have that I unfortunately don't have here today with me though, um, we're actually out of it, but it's coming soon is the lemongrass uh, dandelion strawberry. And that's a really unique one as well. So with that one, it's you, you, you get the lemon right out of the gate. The dandelion kind of brings to tone that down and then it finishes with strawberry. And the way that it all interacts and comes together is so, is so cool. So um, it wasn't, to be completely honest, I wish I could tell you a little bit more of a scientific basis behind it, but it was really just Candace's her intuition and her mind and really believing that all the answers are within, right? So if we can sit, I know the young lady's talking about the, the meditation and, and things like that. We as a company really believe in raising your vibration and that your answer is going to be within you. So um, it was really a lot of, of um, working with her grandmother, trusting what she had created when she was younger, and then understanding that she needed to reach more people. So by being a little more uh, fruit forward, we've been able to do that. I think it's a really nice, nice mix. But the, the cool thing is, is the lychee rose is number three. So we still do have one of our rose water originals that is staying out of the six, um, well up into the sales uh, growth. I love the idea of artisanal beverages. And, but I also think artisanal, you don't really know until you launch these different SKUs, which ones pop. And, you know, I, I love to, I mean, Creo, I like look at your packaging. I'm like, this is artisanal skincare. You know, how, how did you think of, or what, what did you think is your hero, hero product? You know, kind of talk to me about what, what you're thinking around, you know, launching these as like the discovery kit. Um, you know, I, I just, I'd love to hear, learn like, you know, that, and, and then we can, and I have a, a couple other questions. Yeah, of course. Um, so it started from um, just that inspiration from Sierra Leone. Um, you know, with all of our products, they're named after different sites um, in Sierra Leone. So our two best sellers are our River Number no. Two, uh, which is our face oil, and then our Kono body butter, uh, which is infused with um, uh, coffee beans from Sierra Leone. Uh, so we use uh, broccoli seed oil, uh, shea butter, uh, the coffee beans, um, hemp seed oil, and and um, and uh, watermelon seed oil. And then for our uh, face oil, marula oil, water cell watermelon seed oil, uh, kalahari melon uh, oiled, and um, uh, pojaba oil. And so we really wanted to focus in on those powerful ingredients um, that are really um, uh, efficacy based and can really nourish your skin, but not feel heavy. Uh, again, the, going back to the, you know that inspiration of how were they able to? When I say how they, it's like our ancestors, uh, you know, my my family and friends that I, that I saw back in Sierra Leone, and say like, wow, your skin is absolutely glowing. How are you doing that with just the 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 smallest amount of um, you know shea butter or uh, black soap? It's the the skin routines are very very minimal. So um, that led me to think, okay, we can we can create a minimalistic uh, skincare line, but we want to educate our uh, our consumers on Sierra Leone while they're using the product, right? So. Uh, in your uh, dis discovery kit, um, you should have received a, uh, a small like card that talks about River Number no. Two, um, that talks about Kono, and that talks about um, you know Mambo Falls, which is our newest product that's going to be releasing uh, next week actually. Um, so we really really wanted to focus in on that education, on um, that inspiration, and really bring in light to Sierra Leone because. 
um, you know, when people think of Sierra Leone or if they don't know about Sierra Leone, but they, they, they hear about it, uh, one of the first things that they think about is the blood diamonds. And we want to change that narrative um, of, you know, the war, the, the, um, the, the poverty, uh, because there's so much beautiful resources there. Uh, there's there's an incredible, uh, nice people. And it's just time for us to build, build that community, uh, build this country, um, shed light on it. So that's where that inspiration comes from. Um, you know, and I, I'm so happy to be able to share the stories with everyone who has uh, one bought products from us, but also um, who's who has the this uh, discovery kit and who's you know who who wants to grow with us and um, share that mission to um, to to succeed and and uh, empower Sierra Leone. Awesome. I, I, I just, it's really, I'm always impressed with all how entrepreneurs, because it's, it's very hard to start from a, I always say start from dust or start with an idea and the whole world is again, you know, it, it's, you have to push, push, push to get there. Um, but when you have a mission that's bigger than yourself, it always, you know, kind of brings you through and it brings you to, you know, the, the pinnacle of, of, of where you want to, where you want to go with it. So it's really, really impressive. Lisa, um, I would love to, I mean, I also have your beverage on the table. I want to know how people are using this. I, I'm really interested since, and I, and I love that you have mantras kind of with each of these beverages. Is each of these beverages, are, are they going to give me, like if I had, like, like, did you test them out and match them with the, with the word? Like, how did you, how did you, and, and what are people using, using your beverages for? You know, we see that. All, we see it all over the board. Some of them are using them post-workout to, um, again, just settle into their bodies post-workout. Some people are using it after a business trip or a long day at the office. You know, again, um, I'm really touching on the non-alcoholic category, which is the highest growing category in beverages right now. It is blowing up. Um, people really want to reach for something other than the wines. They need to feel functional the next day. So I think that a lot of what we're seeing right now is the happy hours um, where people are wanting more so a great tasting beverage. Low sugar is number one, if not number two in the trending um, beverage trends that we see is low sugar and low cal. Um, the total CBD category right now is at $9.8 billion for 2021. It's a massive category. Um, for projection wise for 2025, we're looking at $23.7 billion for the CBD total category. So there's a lot of room and people, the demand is there for this category. Um, the CBD beverage space projection wise for 2025 is at 2.8 billion. Um, we do think that we have a unique product proposition, like I said at the beginning as well, because of our flavor profiles, um, again, just the strawberry lemonade, which Megan, you have there. Um, which is a really, really popular flavor. People are mixing these as well with real ingredients. They're mixing with muddled strawberries, muddled blueberries, mint, making it into that mocktail type of type of drink. Um, so it's really, you know, we like to lean into, like I said, the more lifestyle focus of our brand more so than anything. Um, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you are. Um, we think that there's a product in our line for you. So that's kind of what we believe in. I love it. And, and I think that, that, you know, it's such a huge industry and, and there's a ton of differentiators that you, that, you know, there, there'll be, you know, a ton of different, different things in how you're marketing the brand. So very differentiated, um, you know, Trisha, Rick, I would love to understand, and this is a question that came in from Barney from our community. It said, what makes your product so much better than other tinctures? Is it the formulation, the carrier, the taste? You know, I, I think that's a great, you know, question and, and something that I think that the audience, especially if they haven't tried your product, you know, how, how, how are you guys different? Because it is, it is a definitely a different, different product amongst the things. So others. I think the reason that we are so different is because our product's very clean. We grow our product, we extract it, we formulate, we mix only with very refined hemp seed oil. We don't do flavorings at all. I have found flavorings can go rancid after a couple of weeks. I've tested a lot of products on the market. And I really believe that ours is the cleanest version. It's tested very, very highly. 
We spend a lot of money on testing our soil, our plants, our product, our extraction, and everything that goes straight to our QR codes that are on each product that we make. And it's very, very accessible on the internet if you do the QR code. And we've had great response from our products because they're just very pure. Um, let me also add that when we uh, formulate, we're trying to formulate to the label claim we're a little over within reasonableness. Um, over the course of the last year and our product development efforts, we've added terpenes. We've reintroduced terpenes back into the products using blends of terpenes that promote a, um, what you might want to experience during the daytime or, right, or what you might want to experience before you go to sleep something more of a relaxing, um, calming um, aspect. Uh, the, um, and the terpenes also provide a flavor element, which complements the uh, other natural ingredients other than the CBD that we put in. But our core product, our, our straight line, full spectrum hemp tincture, CBD tincture, um, is a very clean um, flavoring. It's got hemp seed oil as a carrier agent, as Trisha mentioned. Um, hemp seed oil, as you know, has other wellness benefits, um, omega-3, 6, and 9, and amino fat, fatty acids and the like. Um, so we're, you know, we're, we're very keen on making products that work, but also at the same time, you know, if you take a stroll down the, um, the aisle in the uh, near natural food store, you see a lot of CBD brands on there. A lot of them look dirty. They taste dirty because they're unfiltered. It's less expensive when you're formulating to use unfiltered uh, CBD or hemp extract than it is to use um, ref refined stuff, as well as, uh, f you know, we pay up to bring in a very clean uh, hemp seed oil carrier agent, because in and of itself, the hemp seed oil by itself, if it's not refined well enough, can create a bit of a dirty or hemp hempy flavor, for lack of a better word. But so we go an extra step when we refine, and that's one thing that we're really, really proud of. We spend extra money to do it. Ben's Health just gave us an award for 2021 for our lotion. We just had an Oculmade from uh, yes. Forbes for our new product that is called uh, the Mobile. Sleep. This, this Sleep, I'm sorry. So we have three new products. We have Sleep, we have Mobile, and we have Calm. They gave us an Oculumade for our sleep. Um, so we're very proud of that as well. It's awesome. I mean, you guys are in the business of changing lives. lives. I feel like, you know, the product founders are in the business of changing lives. And so I, you know, can I know- Can we I really tell have... you one thing about changing a life? Sure. One little thing? I, I was going to open up the floor to, so I, I, if we want to start, we're going to, I want to, yes, tell, tell us and then we're so going to- Really little... quick. Yeah. We have now a nine-year-old girl that is super, super autistic. She has been using our product with her doctor's, uh, uh, doctor's supervision, supervision. And she's been using it now for two years. She was not able to speak. She could draw. She was about to sit and out of her school because she was taking her pencil and stabbing the other kids. She is now succeeding and it just gives me goosebumps. So that is some of the things that we're giving back as well. We're supporting our community here. We're supporting her. We're supporting other people that need help that are really not doing well. We give away a lot of our products to our local community to be able to help them out. So that's another thing that I just wanted to mention. It, she is doing so well with this product and her doctor said he's never found anything. She's now off of all of her medications. She's only using our hemp oil. Awesome. I mean, and that leads me to the, and again, this is my last question for the rest of the panelists, which is, you know, I know that your product is changing the lives of, you know, the, your, of, of your customers. And so I would love to understand you know, a, a story, you know, a, a story that you are excited to tell about, you know, a customer case study. Um, so Lynn and, and Kim, I uh, would love to just hear how Farm True has helped, 
you know, your, your uh, community? Um, so gosh, a case study. So many of our customers, because we started so grassroots at farmers markets um, and we were able to teach them about what ghee can do for digestion and just overall dryness in the body. So dryness in the mind, which can help with anxiety and um, it's so deeply hydrating. And so I guess we've had so many case studies of how it's just changed their life. Simple things, simple Ayurvedic tools, adding um, our spice blends to their diets, which has helped with Again, digestion, which is so important. Right, important that's health. probably the biggest case that out of all of our customer testimonies, people yeah. have said how much adding ghee and spices to their diet has changed their digestion and calmed their mind. And it truly is a mind-body connection with ghee, but also all the other herbs and spices that we use for sure. Yeah. Um, but it, like the case study um, to really touch on that is, our personal experience with that is, um, you know, I briefly touched on the fact that my daughter became really ill and had like severe anxiety from that traumatic experience. And by just giving two tablespoons of ghee a day um, helped her with twitches and tics and, um, uh, you know, restless leg syndrome and things like that because it really calmed the nervous system. And when we started to share stories like that, and just in the very beginning with the farmer's market, people really related to that and said, mm. I have anxiety, I can't sleep. And to this day, years later, these people still are in our lives and are our biggest number one fans because they really um, improved their life through just taking out bad fats, adding in good fats and um, really thinking about the mind-body connection there. And it's so nice. We think of like our products, like the body oils, like um, it can be so simple. Putting, rubbing our oil on your feet at night can help with anxiety, help with insomnia. Yeah. Um, and it also shifts this perspective for our customers who've come to us and said it just, learning about ghee, learning about Ayurveda has helped me make more of a connection with um, how I'm taking care of myself. Mm -hmm. So interesting. And, and Janice, I know that your your product is definitely changing lives. And, and so, so, you know, any case study that you want to share quickly? Uh, yes, um, actually there was um, uh, someone who's been using our product um, and we kind of get to know her um, really well. Her name is uh, Michelle and um, she had been suffering from hair loss, didn't know why. She's in her fifties, very, very outgoing, very social. But then she was telling that as she was getting this like progressively like more like hair loss, she started to become much more introverted and very like lack of confidence because, you know, and wearing a baseball cap and everything because she was, didn't really want people to see her hair like that because it was one of her like, you know, like things that she was really proud of. Um, and so then after she started using our products and was really, you know, compliant with it, she saw that her hair started to like regrow and grow back really thicker and fuller. And then she was able to like be much more confident about going out and socializing again, because during that period when she was kind of like, almost like in a way hibernating, she was like, I was just going crazy because everyone was like, what's wrong with you? You're such a social person, but I don't see you anymore. And so she was like, it's been able to be able to help my, you know, overall self-esteem, my, my social life with just like mentally just being like herself again. And so I think that's kind of like a, you know, something that you don't really see from the outside in terms of hair, but it really did help her, you know, in inside with, you know, mind and body. That's great. That's great. Steve. Yeah. So, um, the thing I can tell you about with, with Petal, the thing that we've heard the most, and I think it's a really uh, a neat, a neat um, direction we're going. Like we talk about being very versatile, whether it be just a, because it's caffeine free, it's something you can enjoy anytime. Um, being a mindful mixer for people that do want to have an alcoholic drink, they can, they can, um, we want them to be more intentional about what they're doing, right? But what we're really, I think what's near and dear to our heart is what we're hearing from the sober um, community in the sober curious community. Maybe they're not willing to just give up drinking altogether, but they feel like they want to still have something different, something that makes them feel good, but yet, um, you know, doesn't have that alcohol, right? So what we're doing is we're getting, uh, Candace is receiving through our, um, website, at, at, you know, drinkpedal.com is story after story of women, seems to be more women that we're getting a little sick of those wine nights with all their friends and feeling like not so good the next day and whatever. Um, and what they've been able to do is they're like, with, since finding Petal, 
we feel like we still have that something different, but yet without that effect. And in some cases, without getting too deep into it, we've just heard story after story of, of people that have said, you know what, I'm getting up at 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. rather than at 8 a.m. because I'm having a pedal rather than a glass that of That is awesome. I yeah. love it. If, if seeing... it makes you get up earlier, that's great. And I can see Michelle's popping in. Do I have any more time? I don't think I have any more time, huh? Oh, it kills me to say it. Because uh, I could go on and on with the round tables because I, I was like, Creo, I want to talk more about Simone. <laughs> I mean, Lisa, I want to talk of all about your beverage. It's, uh, I mean, there's just so many things to talk about. But the good news is, you know, we are doing live shows in, in 2022. Hopefully we can all see each other in person um, and really celebrate everybody's missions and people and, you know, thousands of people that come to our shows can actually really get to talk and meet and greet and try the the products. So, um, but nice. this has been such a gift. Thank you guys, really. I, I, I just am so impressed by your missions and all that you're building.